welcome to our youtube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel so my content for today is about nowadays all of us has to undergo a new normal adaptation due to covid 19 so sport that involving body contact mostly is not allowed because it is categorized as a high risk factor for the virus to spread so in order to keep our body healthy and active so most of people right now is moving to non-contact physical activity such as cycling and workout in the gym and we can see it like a trending right now most of the people will be cycling on the weekend and they will spend hours in the gym so i want to share information and knowledge about the suitable nutrition that you should take before exercise so i will focusing on strength exercise and endurance exercise since cycling jogging is categorized as uh, endurance exercise while workout in the gym is categorized as strength exercise so wait for the information endurance exercise what it is and what is the example of endurance exercise so endurance exercise is often referred as an aerobic activity that will increase your breathing rate and you and also your heart rate so the example of endurance exercise that you can do is uh, jogging cycling and also hiking so now what is strength exercise so as strength exercise is any activity that involve your muscle to work harder than usual which will lead for the muscle to increase in size and also strength so the example of strength exercise is lifting weight using dumbbell kettlebell and also barbell if you don't have this equipment you also can use your body as a resistance and also you can use resistance band it is important for every person to consume a good nutritional food before doing any type of exercise this is because a good nutritional food will help you to perform better and also recover faster after exercise each micronutrient has a specific role and benefit to our body our body is like a vehicle where it needs fuel to to make the engine work so for our body we need food so that our body can functioning good and well keep in mind that the sooner you eat before your exercise the simpler and smaller the meal should be this is important because it is to avoid your stomach discomfort during exercise you also need to know about the suitable time for us to consume food before doing any type of exercise this is important for us because our body needs sufficient time for the body to absorb the nutrient so the most recommended time is two to three hours before doing any any exercise so if you have this time you can have a you should have a complete meal which should have carbs protein and also fat but if you are busy and don't have time you can have your meal 45 to 60 minutes before exercise in this case you should have protein and carbs in your meal and worst to worst case if you don't have time and only have 5 to 10 minutes before doing any exercise you should consume fruit such as banana like i said before each micronutrient has their own specific role to our body so the mic the micronutrient is a carbs protein and fat for endurance exercise low glycemic index is the most suitable it is because it provides longer lasting energy glycemic index is a value the 
get assigned to a food to show on how quickly or how slowly the food can cause increase in blood glucose level so the range of gi can be separated into three low medium and high when we consume low gi carb it takes a longer time for our body to digest it so it will give advantage for our muscle because it will supply glucose to our muscle longer rather than quick spike in energy example of food that have low gi value is barley brown rice sweet potato baked beans whole grain bread and many more so for endurance exercise this is the recommended ratio that you should take in your full meal which is 45 to 65 percent from your total calorie is come from carbohydrate 10 to 35 percent of your total calorie is come from protein and 20 to 35 percent is come from fat so done with endure exercise we go to strength exercise all three micronutrient is still important for our body in strength exercise but we want to focus more on protein why protein because protein contain essential amino acid and also non-essential amino acid for essential amino acid our body cannot produce essential amino acid so it must be consumed from the food in terms of exercise protein is very important because it gives a lot of benefit to our body so one of it is increase muscle protein synthesis increase recovery time and also increase muscle growth so that is why we can see a bodybuilder will eat a lot of protein in for in their meal because it is because they want their muscle to recover fast and also give their muscle to grow faster source of food that have high protein in it usually come from meat dairy products and also fish so the example of it is egg chicken breast tuna lean beef quinoa and many more hmm i think that's all the information that i can share with you hope you guys enjoy it and can apply in your daily life thank you thanks for watching